The FL55 is actually one of the easiest conversions to convert over to EOS. It's an excellent lens. It's built like a tank and the images are superb. Uh, it's one of the oldest 1.2 lenses you can get. There's an older one that's a 58mm uh, 1.2 but uh, you cannot get that converted to, um, to EOS without actually machining the lens down. So the only one that you can convert yourself using one of my kits, the oldest one is the FL55 1.2 and it's a fantastic lens. So here's, here's how you do the conversion. So you get the lens, you take three screws off with a good screwdriver, lots of downward force. You'll have to you'll have to turn. Let me get this thing just so that you can see. There's three screws. You'll have to turn this so they have access to them. Now, one thing that's important to note: when lifting this up, do not lift it up to take this ring off. If you take that ring off, what will happen is you lose a little ball bearing. Right now, this ring that lets you go between A and M, there's a little bearing in there and if it, if it comes off, then you have to find it again and put it in. And I'm going to send a spare bearing because a lot of people make this mistake and without it, you won't be able to control aperture. So just don't let this ring fall off. Keep it on. So when you're taking the mount off, be very careful. Then simply take my mount. comes with the kit um, you will put find the top of the lens and on the adapter you'll see a little mark a little faint mark you match it up with the with the orange mark on uh, on the lens and then the holes will line up Find them. Make sure. Now the kit will come with screws, with four screws. You only need three of them. You have to use the screws I provide. The old ones will not work with this kit. Now don't tighten it too much, just wait till the screw bottoms out and then give it another maybe half turn or quarter turn. Actually, before you before you tighten it all the way down, make sure you get all three screws started. That's it. You want to be able to control um, aperture, make sure it's set on M and you'll be able to see you have aperture control. And it comes with a nice head cap for the rear uh, lens. 
then it just goes on your camera. And you are ready to start shooting. And that's it. It's uh, one of my favorites, actually. It's one of the lowest price f1.2 lenses that you can buy. Uh, that you, I sometimes see them for as low as $200, between $200 and $300. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice, it's small. For, for a 1.2 lens, it's incredibly small and the pictures are amazing. So as you can see, it's a really easy conversion.